Well, hello, my name is Deborah Secunda. I started out as a broadcast journalist over here at New Life Expo doing interviews and I had the good fortune to meet Victoris Kolvinskis, who is the father of the entire raw living foods movement. I started to uh, interview all the raw food gurus and do DVDs for them, took recipe classes because I realized I have to learn how to feed myself. <laughs> and if it doesn't taste good, I'm not going to be eating it. So um, my wonderful partner at the time ate all my mistakes. He would just slather it up with mayonnaise and eat it anyway. He would say, oh, this tastes really healthy. This is good. And I'm like, good, because you know, starting out, it's, some of the soups would come out too green, not tasty enough. So I've developed some great recipes and also some shortcuts and ways to plan ahead. Because you don't want to be leaving the house early in the morning and then you pass a bakery or whatever, you get hungry at noon and you don't have something in your handbag, briefcase or man bag that's going to get you through. So it's all about preparing ahead. The recipe we're going to do today is a basic seed or uh, nut pate. Today it's going to be sunflower seeds. With this basic recipe, you can add different ingredients to make it uh, a Mexican flavor or Italian or there's a Nirvana nut loaf from India that I do. There's a, a Japanese sushi roll and a Hawaiian pina colada flavored one and just with a basic nut pate that you can make on a Sunday and keep for a couple of days in the refrigerator and decide later what flavors am I in the mood for. So that's why the handout is dry pantry, fresh staples, snacks to have on hand and your equipment, uh, of course, well today it's going to be a Cuisinart and usually you're going to have a blender and then, of course, it gets a little more complicated. For example, an Excalibur de dehydrator that you're going to want to make your own snacks. But if you're just starting out, this is a good way to go. It's just with some basic soups, which is what I prepared yesterday, and a nice basic almond or seed nut or nut pate. OK, so that should be in there pretty nicely. And this is what I call the base. So I'm going to pour off half the base, if I can. You know, I make these green soups and I always wear white. When I'm, when I'm making the green soups, it's uncanny. So take a look at the handout. Does anyone have any questions about the lineup that I did here? Your dry pantry, what you can always have on hand, and then the fresh staples, your local farmer's markets are good for that, and snacks to have on hand. Yes? Dried fruits without chemicals. Yes, okay. The dried fruits. I have two blocks away from my apartment here in Manhattan, there's a store called The Health Nuts, and they have unsulfured apricots and organic raisins and everything and all of that. I would say go online and you'll find sources for that. Yes. Any other questions about the dry staples? No. Okay. So is there anyone here that's not familiar with, the, with what raw living foods is really all about? I can just give you a brief explanation of why we don't cook foods over 115 degrees. Okay, when we cook foods over 115 degrees, we are destroying the enzymes and most of the wonderful nutrients in there. The vitamins will boil away. So we have devised a way to make our pastas and breads with like a sprouted quinoa pilaf or dehydrated flax crackers and nothing is heated over 115 degrees. You want to make sure that you're getting enough chlorophyll, alkalizing chlorophyll uh, with your dark leafy greens. That's the, the main staple of the diet and also sprouting because sprouts are nature's superfoods, natural superfoods, not pills in a bottle and they have the life force in them, which is so important because we are then eating energy of the sun when we're eating our dark leafy greens and our sprouts. Probiotics, on a daily basis, you should be getting your daily dose of the friendly flora. Your acidophilus, your bifidus, lactobacillus, 
Now, they do sell those. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen the TV commercial, Activia. And, but Activia has other chemicals in it that we may not want to be ingesting. And it's dairy, and it has sugar, and things that we don't need. So we make our own yogurt. We make uh, seed yogurt and seed cheese. I make a wonderful almond ricotta cheese, which is on the DVD in the back. Um, yeah, <laughs> you, you saw the DVD. I loved it. Yeah, loved it. wait till you taste it. Sauerkraut? <laughs> oh, and the sauerkraut. The sauerkraut I make in the Vitamix, water, cabbage, uh, cauliflower, sweeten it up with some uh, caraway seeds. There's all different recipes for that as well. And so if you're having some of that on a daily basis, then your friendly flora is intact and the good guys gobble up the bad guys. So, you know, if you have candida, no sugar. We as Americans are so addicted to sugar anyway. We don't want, we don't need, we don't want to be addicted to sugar and you can wean your taste buds away from it. Uh, lastly, to talk about, well, just the fact that this is preventive medicine. I do want to start preparing food because otherwise we're not going to have time. So anyway, that's an overview. You'll learn a lot more today if you go to some of the other talks. But that's basically why Raw Living Foods works. It's preventive medicine. And, um, and I have seen miracle healings on this diet as well. Okay, the recipe is your basic nut or seed pate is the juice of a lemon, one cup of pre-soaked nuts or sunflower seeds, about a half cup of chopped carrot. You can throw some seaweed, some dulse in there, some salt, uh, Celtic sea salt, cayenne pepper to taste, a quarter cup of finely diced red onion or scallions you can add at the end or just throw it in in the beginning. And the celery you can add at the end or throw it in in the food processor in the beginning. <laughs>